able to take some time off and then you know, after the World Series and stuff like that, get a little break and then, you know, look at the square guy and they would come out here. Is yesterday the first time you picked up a ball since the World Series? Um, no, I've been throwing a little bit, um, not too much, but you know, just trying to stay in baseball activities, stuff like that. Um, so, like I said, I was able to take some time off, but then again, it's not too far of a stretch well, off. You didn't really get to enjoy that whole draft thing much, did you? That was probably the furthest thing. For, I mean, it's obviously a great day, but you're thinking about uh, advancing in the NCAAs and winning the national. Right. Um, I mean, I was pretty much focused on trying to get our team to go as far as we could. So the draft process was fun. I tried to enjoy it as much as I could. Um, was able to spend time with my family. Um, and I was actually with them, you know, through the process, so that was nice. But beyond that, yeah, I was kind of focused on team at Virginia and trying to carry us as far as we could go. What was it like seeing Chris Harvey in the clubhouse here for the first time? It was, uh, it was cool. I mean, we talked about it, and I knew he'd gone to Vandy and stuff like that. So we kind of talked about the World Series and just different experiences like that. Um, talked about the teams, and I mean, it's just good friendly conversations. <laughs> What have the Pirates said about, I know that they're going to take it slowly with you here at the start, maybe a while before you get the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, what, have they laid out a plan for you? Um, not fully yet. We're still kind of working day by day, you know, kind of see what, you know, how it goes along. Um, besides that, I mean, like you said, it's going to be a couple weeks, um, and I know that I knew that coming in. So um, there's not really a rush to get out there, even though I do want to get out there. Um, it's just a matter of time, and you know, gotta go through the steps. About how many innings did you throw this year? Uh, I threw 110 this year at Virginia. That's obviously the most you've thrown in college. Uh, I threw 114 the year before. Okay. But so I mean, it's right around the same ballpark, though. I mean, once you get to that, you start to feel it a little bit. Like anything over really 100, you start to feel it. So it's gonna be a couple weeks before you're on the mound. I think that's the plan as of now. Okay. I know, I mean, some, some people call you Big Game Brandon, obviously with what you've done in the postseason there in Virginia. It's obviously if you're a competitor, you you know you want the ball in these crucial games that pretty much sum you up. Yeah, I mean, I, I think as you kind of said, any competitor wants it. Um, you know, as I said before, even in those moments, I mean, anyone in our clubhouse would have wanted the ball. Um, so, I mean, I think it just comes to competing and trying to go out there. I mean, you're playing a game you love and you want to go out there in the moment. Um, you don't want to be, you know, watching even when you are cheering on your teammates. But besides that, you definitely want it. You want to, you know, be in control of the way. You think there'll be a day that goes by the rest of your life if you don't think of that at some um, point or another? I'll never forget it, that's for sure. It's definitely an experience that, you know, I can always look back on. Um, you know, something that it was, it was a lot of fun. And that was the biggest thing is we had a lot of fun out there. And, um, you know, it's awesome we got the we got the job done, but we were just, just out having a lot of fun. A lot of people counted us off, so um, you know there wasn't any pressure on us. We were just kind of going out there, and, you know, trying to put together a good game. The school eventually, you guys will get rings, I guess. I think so. Yeah. Um, I don't really know the process or the plan with that. Um, just kind of, you know, I guess we'll be informed if something happens. Have you played against some of these guys? Um, not these guys in specific. Um, there, I know some guys that are in the pin league, even some teammates that are in the pin league. Um, so if we get to you know match up against them, it'd be cool and to see them at the, at the ballpark and stuff like that. It'd be cool to you know just kind of catch up, um, see how things are going. And um, besides that, it's just like I said before, trying to have fun and keep in the game. What brings a guy from the heart of Big 12 country to the ACC and show us? Um, I actually wanted to get out of Texas just solely because I've lived there my whole life and I wanted to experience something new. Um, beyond that, I didn't really know where I wanted to go. Um, I just, you know, everything happened to work out that way. I took a visit, really enjoyed it. You know, the coaching staff, the school, everything about it. Um, so, I mean, it just felt like a good fit, and that's where I ended up going. I think you're going to enjoy pitching here? Absolutely. Um, you know, it's a beautiful place. It seems like a great environment, stuff like that, for the two games I've been part of. Um, the guys on the team are awesome, you know, and stuff like that. So, it's definitely something you can feel. It's a good place to play, it's a good team to be in. You're pretty set on signing in this year. Yeah, obviously, the perfect way to go out. Um, I mean, kind of like we did before. I honestly didn't think much about it. Um, you know, I was just trying to stay in Virginia and stay on the team, and um, you know, to see how far we could go. Um, and then once that was over, I'd kind of look at it and see what was going on. Um, so to answer your question, I didn't really know. Um, I didn't really think about it. And just you know, kind of let it take care of itself.